The other day we were talking about how, you know, a private fleet from Purdue was uh, making their drivers clean out their trucks. But I guess, hey, these 3PL companies and these freight brokers, they're not doing so well either. And so they are shutting down their business as well. Let's get into today's video. So, mother truckers, have you carried loads for this brokerage and are you being held stranded right now and waiting for an update? You know, mother truckers, comment down below. Please email me at mothertruckernews at gmail.com. What's going on, mother truckers? So, there's a lot of truck drivers out there that haul and use Universal Brokerage. It says, hey, just giving you a heads up. We haul a lot of loads for Universal Logistics. They just informed us as of today that they are closing their brokerage side down. All loads are canceled. Let everyone know, say they don't get screwed. We have 10 loads still waiting for payment. Not sure if we will see it. So try and do some more deep diving. Try and find some articles of this for you guys. And so here's the information here. So I was looking for some resources and I found something from Freight Waves. It says Nashville brokerage abruptly ceases operation and cuts 130 jobs. You know, before that, we talked about how Purdue was uh, cutting uh, jobs from their private fleet and they had a meeting, got drivers to their terminal and then told them to clean out their truck and they're putting their loads on the load board. Right. So today, you know, it looks like another brokerage is cutting their losses as well because of how the trucking economy is. So a Nashville, Tennessee based brokerage sees operation laying off around 130 employees after his parent company pulled the plug on an operation without warning, according to sources familiar with the layoffs. So a manager for Universal Capacity Solutions at UCS told Freight Waves on Thursday that a skeleton crew is staying on to help with the wind down, ensure that trucking companies hauling loads of the now defunct 3PL are paid. So mother trucker, for the one that you know has the 10 loads you're wondering if you're getting paid it looks like they have a skeleton company crew that's going to stay on board until you do get paid definitely email me back and tell me if you do get paid or not he said that initial reports of some motor carriers that being stranded under loads with no guidance from the now defunct 3po could possibly be chalked up to a miscommunication when trucking companies were unable to reach the brokers through which they had booked the loads with ucs quote it's chaotic around here but we'll stay open as long as it takes to pay all the carriers so the manager who did not want to be named for fear of retaliation quote we have a skeleton crew still here and we are trying to answer as many phone calls as we can to track down any paperwork we need to to pay these companies end quote some trucking companies shared messages from UCS brokers about the 3PL demise on Wednesday, although Freight Waves was unable to independently verify the closure until Thursday. You know, I got the same information and I was waiting for someone to verify it as well. Oh, so you guys know that I just moved out here to Houston, Texas. You know, is there anywhere that you'd like me to go? Any trucking company that I can tour? Anywhere that you'd like me to get interviews? You know, I'm new in town, so I'd love to hear from you guys, but 1,000% I'm here around and I'll be grabbing as much content as I can so I'm day one sleeping pretending to be a hotshot driver <laughs> you know and you said something so beautiful you oh, know yeah. what uh, what did you say because the market is crap yeah, right now it's absolutely horrible. I love this job no matter what uh, something about this job I'm, I'm, I'm nomadic by nature you know, yeah I love yeah this job so much it's right in here and even when even when the crappy market I've been out since February. Really? Wait up! You've been out since February, since February. and haven't gone home. Do you yeah, have a family or? Yeah, I'm not, not not right now. My girlfriend right now. I had to cut that off. But yeah, yeah. 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 So you saving money? Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. I heard that. But it was beautiful for you to say, quote unquote. Uh, I love the shop. No matter what, even though the market is crap, I love the shop so much. Like it's, it's something. Um, I'm ten years late to my own profession. Um, but I absolutely love this job. I'm, I'm five years in, but I probably, if I were out of high school, if you would have told me, it's funny because when I was a baby, my third word was truck. It was mama, <laughs> dad, and a truck, truck, no, really. I had every Tonka truck, everything. And then, like, you know, if you would have told me that I would break off and then come back to truck, it's just a beautiful job. I love it. I so, love it. if money wasn't an option, I you could do anything you want to do. Everybody in America gets paid the same. It don't matter if you're a doctor to a, a truck driver something about this job i don't it's hard to explain to people too it really is it's hard to explain if, you, if, if they go oh you know you have to do this and that and it's just like um well you have to do this and that and then they don't understand you don't understand it's, it's weird like being nomadic it's hard to explain to people yeah. that like 
I don't know, like a regular nine to five is nothing like this job. I, I, heard got, that, I got a good boss too that just like leaves me the hell alone. So it's yeah. like I'm the truck, you know? Yeah. No, like, I'm happy for you, man. Yeah. You know, you know, during hard times, sure, it's great yeah. to see a little bit of light and a little bit of positivity. You gotta be positive, man. Hey, but I love you, brother. I don't even know you to love you, man. Shoot. Hey, I wish you the best. Right, yes, sir. Just stopped at a truck stop. Why not, right? Just want to check out how the world is looking out here and see what's going on, but. You know, I'm definitely excited for a change and interviewing some cool drivers and just seeing, you know, how the industry is out and just giving you guys as much information as I can, as always.